welcome back everyone to another video and this is the unboxing for the rack wireless uh, Vistro 96 boards IoT board this is also known as the rack 5205 or Vistro LoRa uh, tracker module and this is it right here this is the full kit uh, I'm not sure how it's going to be uh, purchasable uh, whether the full kits available or you will have to buy the other things separately but today we are just concentrating on the unboxing uh, so first we have the module itself this is a 96 volts IoT edition module and we will take a closer look in a second but for now um, this is it we will take it out in a bit uh, some more wires just to get started uh, adding sensors and stuff and we have the LoRa um, antenna a usb cable and a couple of jumpers and then we have this massive gps antenna uh, that we'll talk about in a second of course which has the specs on the back uh, and that's about that from, from the box uh, let's take a look at the gps and move away to the main module uh, this is the gps antenna opening that up and you get a sticky pad a 3m sticky pad and the antenna itself which is a massive unit uh, with the uh, coax cable here um, it's at the 1575.42 megahertz 1.5 gigahertz um, and voltage range around 3 volts to 5 volts um, and that's the gps antenna uh, this is the lora or lora van antenna uh, and there's no specs on it but yes it says 868 megahertz uh, and a usb cable probably to power it and program it and uh, we have a connector here which i'll talk about what that's for but let's get to the module itself so as you can see there are two uh, coax b and c pins here uh, one's for gps one's for lora and you can add your antennas there uh, you have your gps module and your lora module and there's a cortex m uh, mcu so an arm mcu in there somewhere there are a couple of sensors um on there as well which i'll talk about in a second you have all the pinout labeled down there and uh, all the sensors are here and you have uh pin for battery i think that's what this pin is for is to connect a uh, 18650 uh, battery up there and you also have a pin for uh, a 5 volt solar panel so the so the battery can be charged either through micro usb or a 5 volt solar panel all that's built into it uh, and a button right there so let's talk about the sensors so for inertial measurements um, we have a three axis accelerometer called the LIS3DH um, back there and for the other sensor it's a Bosch BME680 which is the uh, silver one right there uh, it's a temperature humidity pressure um, sensor and uh, I think could be used for as a barometer sensor to detect how high of the ground the module is so that's i guess uh, about it uh, and just to have everything plugged in uh, i am going to attach the antennas here so we have the lora antenna attached and that can be propped up like that and on to the gps one uh, you can stick it to a wall uh, i'll just have it like this because i don't really there we go there is the gps antenna installed uh, I don't know if there's any programs that are pre uh, preloaded, so I'm just going to try and power it up and see what happens from micro USB. I'm guessing not a whole lot, maybe a couple of LEDs will light up. Uh, that's all. So I do have it powered on, and you can see we have we just had an LED lit up, and uh, that's about that. And I, that seems to be the reset switch. And every time I press it, it resets and lights up the LED for a second or so. Um, so yeah, that's about it. We are going to look into it further down the road. Um, 
example applications and things like that hopefully some neat demos come out of this but for now uh, this is about it thank you so much for watching make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel for future updates and uh, we will keep you all posted